of Extinction Rebellion, Rebels with a Cause. We are reinventing the city. We do so for life. We are sorry. We have a sacred duty to rebel. So with XR flags and their bright colours and bold graphic designs flying high in the air, we protest and we sing and we play and we dance. The streets become our playground. All roads freshly blocked, exchanged for exuberance. We chant, we disrupt carbon emissions and we pray for sanity. Adrenaline pervades the air, transforming the asphalt into a transcendent terrain of laughter, sorrow, hope. Our presence rails against the threat of omnicide, playfully bids adieu to a culture of death. It is life affirming. Dear lost people, we are a map. Here is the future. A new vision of human nature is out in the streets, in ritual, giving form to grief. We protest in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night, surrounded by police in their yellow jackets. We protest, and we sing, and we play, and we dance. It is mostly elderly, conscientious protectors Lying on, locked on, arms spread out, holding hands, a human chain of veteran activists. I am willing to be arrested, their placard said. I too will be willing, in a few days' time, when I am finished with a mountain of work. I am also a carer for my mother. I will take her to my father's flat. Like so many rebels, I will have to organise my own arrest. And I will be available for arrest from Thursday onwards. But for now, I catch a moment of hope in action. At the centre of it all, an unforgettable three and a half foot tall rebel with astonishingly large eyes and a circled hourglass painted onto her cheek. Over her head is a light pink handkerchief with a B block painted onto the front, the XR symbol on the back and an XR scarf wrapped around her orange duffel coat. Her astonishing eyes grow larger still as she is screaming and screaming at the police, frowning. Always on the verge of crying, she yells, Leave my mummy alone! Don't you touch her! Her rebel mother is sitting in the road with a baby in her lap. The police are trying to arrest rebel mothers. The rebel mothers stay put. So the little rebel steps in front of her mom, arms wide apart. There is a plague in the sea and in the earth and in the sky, she yells. Astounded, rebels and bystanders watch this feisty little rebel. How old is she? Five? She is the future of the planet. If we cherish it enough to protect it, one day she could have grey hair and laughter lines. If we care for her future. Discombobulated, a policeman clasps hands, fingers interlocked, crouches next to her. Many policemen are now crouching around her. She is taller than them. This little rebel commands the situation. The world is her oyster. But the planet is dying. So she turns to him and says, My mummy is protesting for the common good. The crouching policeman looks as though taken by a moral dilemma. The words catch in his throat. He raises his hand to rest on his heart. Then a policewoman, pursed lips, plump hands, thumbs tucked into her fingers, tells the rebel parents to get up and leave. But the little girl isn't done with her intervention yet. Always on the verge of crying, she points her forefinger up at the policewoman and says, We are the children who know what you are doing. And we want to live. We want the birds and the trees and the sky to live. We want the elephants and the monkeys and the bumblebees to live. 
Tigers and zebras, giraffes, lions, tigers. We want rivers and seas. We want penguins and fishes and crabs and seals and lizards and insects and butterflies. Why don't you get it? The little rebel bursts into tears. And her rebel parents hug and kiss their daughter. Disarmed, the police leave. Hope in action. Drumming binds us. So does superglue. We are pluck, vim, zest, and zing. Familiar faces rebel all around as if their lives depended on it because their lives depend on it. And their lives are the lives of all life on earth, present and future. Drop out of the fairy tale, the police say. But it isn't exactly a fairy tale with some gruesome fairy tale elements. But no, this is a new story and flaw by science. But we have a vision. We'd like a happy ending. Join us!